return for BC. Hokies are 7-0, one of the six unbeatens. Will they be after tonight? Off we go from Blacksburg. Deep kick, no one at the Division 1A level, let alone 41 in a row. Marcus Vick to the air right away. Complete to Eddie Royal, who gets away from the tackle and is taken out of bounds after a 15-yard gain at the 40. And right away, Marcus Vick involved in conversation, which is cool. Slow down, relax. The 45, the blitz ran into each other, and Clowney is open. David Clowney on the run to the 13-yard line. Pick up a 42 and a first down. The pressure was coming. Goal. Those are those early in the game. Those are big accomplishments being on the road in Lane Stadium for Boston College. Pace, 26-yarder from the left hash mark. Able to bang it through. He hit the upright from a similar spot last week at Maryland. And the Boston College defense trying to stop him after a good drive for a field goal first time around. Vic throws to Royal. And he makes the catch out of bounds at the 33. That'll be a first down for the Hokies. With our offensive line against their front seven. The defensive line switches on second and five. Blitz gets to Vic late. The pass is hauled in by Josh Morgan. First down at the 43. The pressure always asked for the number. He said about 80% of health. Vic to Emo out of the backfield. Good spin move. He's still alive. He used a hand down for balance. Taken down past the first down marker. Virginia Tech back in the red zone. Play that they have to to force the field goal and not allow this crowd and Virginia Tech to get up by 14 or 10 points. Good from 26 before. Brandon Pace. Good from 32. And it is 6 0 for the Hokies. So Pace. And the entire year. They're going to have to create turnovers to give their offense a short field at some point tonight. Humes bouncing to the outside, has the edge. Cedric Humes delivers the blow to the 37-yard line. And as today they played Wake Forest, and then 12 days off since then. So more asked of Keith Willis on the defensive end. As Vic throws, complete to Josh Hyman. Brought down after a first down at the 46-yard line. Come back with the same formation, the same personnel, and they run Eddie Royal, who has two blockers. He's got the 10. He's got the 5. He's got a touchdown. They hooked up on ESPN earlier this year, and his sister has a prominent place here at Virginia Tech as well. This time, the little brother takes it to the end zone. About as laid back as they come, what I liked here is Marcus Vick, who's been doing so many, so many checks. This time does, I think, what would be called a fake audible. The play is called. The fullback's going to lead around. But I think the defense may have been caught thinking that it's going to be another three-step drop and that they're going to run the football with Mike Emo. Nice call by Brian Steinspring. That's why you come out with a play after a timeout. He is on third and ten. He's going to be the defensive lineman closest to you in the three-man front. Tries the inside rush. Pressure coming from that side. Beautiful job by Vic to stay in there and throw it to Josh Hyman at the 46. First down, gain of 15. How many years now they've been here with this system? Second and nine. Vic, room to run. Makes one miss. First down at the 11-yard line. He gains 50. He is not as fast as Michael, but he still has that elusiveness and that missability. BC timeout. Second and two for the first down. Three for the touchdown. Vic rolls it, throws it. Morgan, touchdown. Mom, Michael, they've seen it before. Struggled in recent weeks inside the five-yard line. How about the shotgun inside the five-yard line? Rolling Mar Marcus Vick out, and he throws right away. The thing that was great there is he knew where he was going with the football. The second he had the ball in his hands, throws it out to the flat for the touchdown to Josh Morgan. Mom's pretty happy about that one. That you see on the football field in some of his great play. Third down, the throw is complete. 
to Justin Harper for a first down to the 42 yard line. So once again Marcus Vick makes a big play on third down to keep a Boston College drive alive or beat Virginia Tech drive alive. It's five about 200 pounds kind of a lanky more of a basketball player than he was a great football player at the time. Little push there not enough as the pass is caught by Hyman who is swung to the ground by Will Blackman. So Blackman's coming in to play defensive in BC territory. They've had ball control field position. BC's lucky they're only down 10. Marcus Vick to the fullback. Tight end Kinter. Oh he went hurdle for the first down. That is 6'2", 245. Going track team on you to get a first down. To see it. You always expect a receiver, a quarterback, a tailback, but a big fullback slash tight end H-back to go up and over a defensive back like Morris. You just don't see that. Well, that is a heck of an athletic play. And not only that, but he landed. Quarter for Ricky Brown out of Ohio, Cincinnati's elder high school. Here is Vic dancing, scrambling, being Vickian to get a first down at the 22-yard line the clock almost double the amount and yet they're still within reach of staying in this game and having a chance to come back Brandon Pace from 31 yards good for the third time tonight 23 to 10 I've taken don't sleep taken on the consider I'm not sleeping on him it's just I got to go to South Bend Porter in trouble Sack. first time they've been able to get all the way through the dancing from Darrell Tap is fourth the season first team live tackles here comes second and nine Marcus Vick looking downfield breaking free Justin Harper to the 23 yard line oh, pick up a 42 hokey first down ESPN news all the time thank you Reese's second and 11 late for Lester who got popped as the pass was incomplete, Jimmy Williams beat for a touchdown tonight, but an excellent cover corner made this. Quarter blitz, sack. Darrell Tapp put Porter into the turf, and Quinton is shaken up. Not have any miscues up front. Chris Miller, the tight end, does a little wave to Daryl Tapp. Keep in mind, Daryl Tapp's your biggest. One third socks, one third other stuff. The weight of the book is going to bring it down eventually. Porter sack again for the third time by Tapp. There it oh, is. It's a pick. There it's it is. a touchdown. He was on his way down. Tapp had control of him, but it becomes an interception and a touchdown. For the Hokies, Vince Hall. They're going to handcuff. And Porter should have just held on to this ball, obviously. Well, this time, at least they have an offensive tackle going up against Daryl Tapp. The problem is True Blood can't handle the power. I thought it was interesting. Daryl Tapp told us yesterday with his eyes all lit up saying, this is a week I can use to bull rush because this offensive line is so confident that I don't... She's with Thursday Night Football. She's with us at Florida Atlantic. She's with us three against 13. <laughs> Deep ball thrown by the sophomore Ryan. It's like a punt. Intercepted by Justin Hamilton, the former running back. They want to score so bad on defense. He's an old running back. Picked up a block and got tripped up at the 30-yard line. Now the feeding frenzy was going to come sooner or later. <laughs> it just happened to come with about four minutes to go in the game. Miami had a second conference loss here tonight. Michael Vick came to see it. Marcus Vick had as good and as complete a game as he's had in his college quarterbacking career. And the Virginia Tech Hokies remain undefeated in their quest for a perfect season. They're 8-0. Our final score tonight, Virginia Tech 30, Boston College 10. With Aaron